just made this procedural bed of rocks that generates a whole new look every single time I move it. Check it out. It gives me an infinite amount of iterations to choose from. And I did it using the 5.2 procedural generation framework. How long did the setup take? Five minutes. This was my Egyptian desert scene before, and here it is after. Beautiful. Let me show you how I did it. First things first, we download some mega scan rocks and rock grounds and make sure they were nanite. That is crucial because when you want to spawn 100,000 rocks, nanite is the only way you will survive or else your PC will just explode and you will die. No, but in all seriousness, nanite allows you to change the level of detail of the rocks as you get further away, which is why Unreal Engine 5 is so powerful because you can literally have hundreds of thousands of rocks far away and they're only being rendered with little amount of geometry because of nanite. Now let's move on. I made sure the procedural framework plugin was enabled and then I added a PCG graph to my content browser. Drag the PCG to my scene and scale it up. Within the PCG graph, that's where I needed to say, hey, can you spawn points on the surface of this landscape? I did that with a surface sampler node. Then by hitting debug, I checked to see where those points are spawned. I realized they were not spawning on the floor and I don't want my rocks floating in the air. So I switched the input to landscape and it was fixed. At this point, we need to tell Unreal which rocks we want to use. So we added a static mesh spawner node and fed our rocks as input. By this time, we already have a procedural bed of rocks, but it doesn't look so good because they're repetitive and nothing in nature is repetitive. Think about it. We need random, wait, I'm not in focus. Randomness. The rotation of trees, the scale of the trees, the color of the rocks, the texture of the moss that is on the rocks. Everything you see in nature is random. And that is what makes nature look so good and complex and detailed. And so if you want to achieve that look, you got to make sure you have that randomness in your scene. Let's get it. That's where I added a transform point node and played around with rotate, offset, and scale to find the look we wanted to make sure the rocks spawn randomly. And we're done, really, we're, we're actually done. All we gotta do is move the volume and it generates a whole new look every single time, giving us infinite amount of iterations to choose from, even at the slope of the hill. Now that was simple, but if you wanna take it to the next level, Here's how you do it. To make it look really good, go and duplicate your nodes and create even more variations within the blueprint and use different rock formations. Comment them out as smaller rocks and bigger rocks so you don't get confused. You can also go ahead and do entirely new PCG graphs, then you can layer all of these in together to create that super complex look that we see in nature. That is realism. Now there are a couple of other tricks that you can use, so if you've been staying up until this part of the video, I wanna say thanks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna see more shit like this, but let's move on. So first tip, I recommend that you check out the modeling tab and then go to the lattice tool and use that to actually deform your rock ground formations so that they're not all a flat layer. Because what that does is when you try to put it on a slope, you might actually see the edges sticking out. Second tip, if your formations don't look that real, make sure you keep playing with the transform node and also the surface sampler node has the point section. Use that to actually control the number of formations you're adding in to that volume. If you really wanna add in your touch, your spice into that whole scene and make it as real and as good as possible. Have your own centerpiece that is not procedural to make sure it stands out against all of the randomly generated formations. And that's how actually Unreal Engine did it when they were presenting this entire new technology. And when I say entire new technology, guys, I'm not saying that no other software has done this before. Blender has geometry nodes and it essentially does the same thing. But the only thing that makes this so cool and different is the fact that you're using Quixel assets that are already there with Nanite, which means you can have millions of these rocks and still render it in real time. Now all of this is just a small part of our huge ambitious project of replicating a real life Egyptian tomb and that is King Tut's tomb from Egypt. Now, what our goal is, is to take this to the next level by adding in more realism and creating cinematic trailers, taking it to VR, adding in metahumans. So if you're curious about this whole project, make sure you go ahead and check out our previous videos of how we started this scene from scratch and also come back every day because we do upload daily and we're gonna be showing you our upcoming processes right here on this YouTube channel. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.